everybody and happy weekend today i am back once again with mix daily training how's everyone doing today hello karma what's up everyone hope you're doing fantastic happy weekend once again um okay you can hear me well i have this open let's pause that and let's go what's up karma how are you crazy game looks like it uh, the thing is, if queen d3, bishop d3, and bishop d4 doesn't isn't the idea because of bishop c2, quite cool. When oh, I get an open play, it's Kevin McAllister. Hello, good luck. Keys from I don't know. All right. Hello, you're the happy weekend. Hey, man, you spurs. Happy weekend, everyone. I find things we can. Yeah, yeah, weekend is good. Good evening, Panda. Happy weekend. Hello, everyone. What's up, everyone? Happy weekend. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let the ambulance pass. Let's play E4. Dark mode. Yeah, I'm using it for like three days already. Cops all the time. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. You're first. Maybe it's not cops. Maybe it's ambulance. I'm not sure. I'm not a, hi Pookie, happy weekend, what's up? I'm not a professor of is it an ambulance or is it a police? There should there has to be a game, right? When you hear some a siren, you have to guess whether it hi blah blah blah, happy weekend, what's up? You have to guess it whether it is a weekend or we ambulance or police. <laughs> weekend doesn't have a siren. Ah uh, yeah, hold on, let me Put the cam a little up. Okay. Looks good. No! Blah blah. What did you post? Blah blah. Be careful. That was a link. Don't sing links, please, in the chat. Careful. Why would you play bishop e7 and then bishop b4? Yeah. Why would you play bishop b4 immediately? Because, like, I won't play bishop d2 anyways. Ah, so they didn't get rook e5? Or oh, what? Yeah, that is true. Tomorrow, guys, by the way, I'm planning to post a video. So, stay tuned for that. Cops is spelled like caps. Same as chops. Okay. Ah, caps. No, no. I call the cops. I mean cops, yeah, okay. Stop, okay. I'm bad at American, sorry. Uh go G4? <laughs> Just go G4. You know what? G4! I mean the idea is if he takes takes why doesn't why does the open not always one don't fall for my trap. True, but for me it feels like this this dark theme is too dark. I don't know why. It feels like disco dark theme is not so dark as this dark theme. This one is cool, but it feels like it is a way a little bit too dark. I like it more when it's grayish. Hey, Queen of Three. I don't know. Bishop of four, bishop d6, c5, this, this. Yeah, that's true. I'm doing good, Vahayon. What about you? Happy weekend. What's up? <coughs> Hi, Setlandi. Long time no see. Thank you so, so much for the Patreon wing. Thank you. Let me reload the page and play with it. Happy weekend, thank you so much. Yeah! To be honest, same, but I'm trying now dark mode. No, but I, I, don't ask my personal opinion, please. I have like Discord and dark mode, and I literally use all the time on light mode. There is probably something wrong with me. Uh, so don't mind that, and yeah. 
I can't have, I, I cannot, my eyes hurt when I have uh, Discord on dark, light mode. And I don't know, I, I like this light mode on Misha, so it's interesting. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, Go bishop f4, this, 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 and then perhaps like queen of g. I'm not sure. How are you doing, Settling in Long time no see. There's a cam, by the way. It's good. Yeah, bishop d6. Maybe I'll just play like rookie one, because I don't really want to hurry with like c5 because it gives an important square for his knight. Oh nice, yeah, I'm not watching much football to be honest. Maybe the results, but I don't really watch like actual football, football. Way too boring. City is playing in a bit nice. Pretty much two hours is a lot to just spend on football, in my opinion. The night must be mobile as I it, yes, true. Yeah, true? Mm. Yeah. Uh, did it c5, goodness me. Wait, he blundered. Ah, he blundered. I think this bishop e5, bishop e5, queen c5, bishop d6. If bishop c5, I get knight d7, knight f8. And if queen c5, I get knight d7, takes this. Thank you, Lander, guys. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, thank you, Lander, chat. I'm not sure. I said that like 20 times already. But I think you, Lander. <laughs> From my personal opinion, I think he blundered everybody. Okay, that wasn't funny, was it? Bishop takes knight, I take, and if queen c5, I get bishop d6, and let's say fork, right? So I used to go queen c6, but then I get like queen d6, I should be pawn up. Yeah, that is very true, Yosef. Great, great deep thoughts. Okay, bishop d6. And yeah, I thought you'd go bishop c6, hack a pawn, but I didn't. You really get hyped about football unless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Karmar. Not surprised about that. Uh, yeah, it is nice. Oi! I'm blind at a pawn. Yeah, it's calculated. It's calculated. My idea is to play queen d4 then and then get it back. Calculation. It is all calculated. Don't worry, guys. Everything is under control. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Joseph. Joseph is a mind reader. Uh, <laughs> just about to say that. Okay, rook a1, queen b3, rook a3. I told you I'm getting the pawn back, didn't I? I mean, sure, my king looks a little exposed, but it ever since under great, great control. Joseph didn't really fully read my mind, I said great twice. So. Joseph, you still need to practice a little bit. What's he thinking about? Queen b6? Suppose so. No, but then I'm winning. No. Queen b6 is bad. 
I simply take then rook a7, attack the pawn. Or maybe I'm not winning. Because I guess like rook c8. Rook c2. Rook c2. Uh, yeah, challenging. Shouldn't have gave this pawn away like that. And where he go? Rook here. The idea is if rook b8, I get rook a1 and then rook a8. Yeah, so he goes there. Is what that's your secret, yeah. Yeah. So what if I take And g5, rook e4, rook h4? I mean, sure, I'm creating like a zillion weaknesses. But he also has weaknesses, right? So, say he takes rook e4, he gets rook b4. But then I take, take rook b6, rook b8. I mean, I think I have good chances because his skin is stuck there. I also have decent time advantage. And the idea is if knight f4, it may seem like it's fine for him. But rook e4, knight h3, king g2. No matter what he takes, I get rook h4. And if rook f2, I get king h3. So this, this, and if e5, I think I can simply take b6, probably. Knight h3, king g2, knight f2, rook h4, rook b8. Yeah. I'm not sure. We'll see what will happen out of this. Yeah, but rook e4? I mean, knight h3 doesn't work. So e5, I'd guess. But am I not winning there as well? Takes knight h3, king g2, knight f2, rook e8, and rook h8. I think that's maybe winning. Reload page. Boom, Ethony! Reloaded it. Let's go. It's really such a 2400. Reloaded it, Ethony. Yeah, e5, rook e5? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty sure this wins. And, oopsie. And king h2. No matter where he goes, rook eight, and I think that's stoppable. This is really stupid. Okay, okay. Okay. I noted that. We'll see if he'll do it. Extra stream, every stream. How could I forget every? I forgot word. A word called every. What's wrong with me? Okay, can h two knight f two this this. Even if he gets knight e four, uh, I go king g one, rook c one, king g two, rook c two here here I escape. So I don't want to go king g two because knight f four. So this 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 this. Yeah, this should win, I think, if I'm not miscalculating. Mm. I'm surprised you're the fifth Natal to four. Yeah, a five is a refresh, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. I remember that there is, yeah, I think a five is a refresh. I'm not gonna try that on stream, I'm gonna try it off stream. And then try it. If, if it's refreshing actually, then I'm gonna do it on stream next time, okay? Again, I think this is a win. Yeah, but rookie 8. Hi Toglet Jack, happy weekend, how are you doing? And Ethan, happy weekend as well, I almost forgot, sorry. Yeah. So, king g1 here, king g2, rook c2, king f1, rook c1. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, but king g1 should win. Yeah. King h should have won as well, but let's be safe. Okay, the size. In time scrambles, yeah! In time scrambles, it's great. Alt F4, no cap, guys. The best 
the best thing you can do it, it adds 20 seconds so you can think more if you do alt f4 during time trouble karma i think that may help you <laughs> you will get uh, quite some time so maybe you can try that out no okay just kidding of course don't, don't do alt f4 Even Joseph tells it that it's awesome, guys. If Joseph tells it, then it is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm quite happy with the game. What can I say? It was this. It was interesting. This G4 idea. I'm not sure if it was correct. Then I want to exchange, and I blocked it. But then I played well. I like this mating net. Yes, but he knew one, and then I mean, I guess he wants rookie two or something. I'm not sure. When you blundered terribly. Yeah, that's true, you just rage quit immediately. <laughs> the name Kevin McAllister. Good game, thank you, so I don't know. So my guess is it's 3 0 0. I played this game. Or 3 1 0. Or 2 1 0 or 3 0 0. We'll see. Two one zero three zero zero. Let's see. Uh, rookie 8, BF8, this, 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 Okay, let's see. One nil nil already, okay, okay. I can just no. Then it's three nil nil, right? Or two nil nil? No, don't tell me it's two nil nil, please. No, it's not. It can't be two nil. It has to be three nil nil. Please, no! <laughs> I said three nil nil. Two one nil. It was two nil nil. Ah, okay. Yeah, rook h one f six. And I, I guess after f6 you want like queen e4 something? That can be a good idea to be honest. Wait, but rook h1, no, 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 rook h1 bishop e5. Shouldn't bishop e5? What are you gonna do? Eh? Eh? d7? Game over? dc? Game over? Oh no. I mean, about DC, I can, I can disagree. I ah, know I cannot disagree. Bam! Nice. So next time I should say 2 0 it will be 2 1 nil, I guess. Yeah, so I got a better position. I played perfectly first 24 moves. Rook C1 was, of course, a big miss. And then, yeah, he just said go Queen B5, sack this pawn, and play Rook C8, and he would be quite good. And I don't even have it. No, maybe not Rook C8, but okay, G5 is 94, and I don't have any advantage at all. This Rook A7. And this, and I said, a very brilliant mate net. I love that. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh. Yo. Yeah, and yeah, and uh, I'm not sure. And then, 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 I wasn't sure if h7 or bishop g5 first. After h7, he gets king h8. And this idea, he gets f6 and takes, it doesn't work. The idea here was if he takes, I play rook e8, and if he takes knight f6, this I win, right? So that doesn't work. That's why I had to play that immediately h7. If king f7, queen h6, it's game over. If King h7, it is very brilliant mate, queen h6. If king g8, there is queen h8, queen g7. If this, there is just this and mate. And let's see, two crook h1. This, 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 this. And now here, 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 he takes. This, this, and I just end up a uh, rook up, and that's gg. Who is that guy? Which guy? Is somebody behind me? 
Oh, what's going on? Da 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 da. Triple here in the emote. Um, it's that's Stopalov. Thank you so so much for the follow, Yash KT7. Enjoy seeing here on the channel, have fun. And what am I doing? Is this Stopal? It's Stopalov, Joseph. You can't fool me. Happy weekend, Yash. I'm playing chess. Stopalov, yeah, yeah. It has to be. If not, I'm retired. <laughs> no, just kidding. But maybe. Can consider that. It wasn't. I got plus five, anyways. You know everyone, oh gosh, thanks. Good news guys, I'm not retiring. Oh my finger. Uh Yef Ne E U A ah, I was Queen H4. And root D5 E T yeah, I don't know. You can do it, I failed it! I failed it all and I tried, but I failed. Yeah, Queen H4. I've I've had this puzzle also before. But like I didn't see much difference between Queen H4 and Queen H3. I still don't see that. Um, I mean he both takes D5. Yeah, that is true. It, it's weird, right? Queen H3, like Queen D8. Huh? I'm really not sure. It's a weird one. Ah, so is it King D8 or King of Eight here or King of Seven? I mean, King D8 feels safer, you know? So then I get like Knight G4 and I'm not under any checks, so I'm just gonna go King D8, I suppose. Queen H1? King of two here, 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 here. Okay, seven. My knight is dead. He has, uh, he has six pawns for two. I think he has a good compensation. Yeah, I only play checkers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, now, okay. Jokes aside, I'm playing chess. I already played a game. Now I'm gonna solve puzzles and then, uh, and then and then and then I'm gonna play more chess. Yeah, but I take. Yes. Yeah, so the idea is that after I take Queen B8, I simply have either this. I was planning, to be honest, to go King E7. It's still totally, totally winning. The idea is if this, I do this, and then I win. I give a check and I win a rook. Oh, like 95 better. So Bishop C8 also wins, and yeah, that's game over. Nice. Chill, Yashk. Chill. I mean, you didn't, you didn't really say it who you asked the question to. So, he has the right to reply to your message. No, but I'm playing chess as well, so it's okay. Uh, h6, just push. Yeah, this, knight b3. H7, Knight, B3. Uh, okay, I'm not sure. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? Happy weekend. What is up? The forks, yeah. Who was watching tiebreak today? Because like Magnus gave and Kaima gave so many heart attacks. Elephant move, yeah. Let me find it. 
There were so many artifacts, like Magnus is plus four, then it's zero. Magnus is plus seven, then it's zero. Then Magnus was plus 53, then you see draw. <laughs> yeah, to blood check. I just briefly followed it, yeah. The breakers were fantastic, yeah. <laughs> I've seen a funny... Okay, if I haven't, send me the link to the game in the team on Lee Chess, okay? Or team on Chess Home, whatever suits you better. Um, whatever oh, suits you better, send the link there. Yeah, I saw that also, yeah. I mean, he was in a must-win situation, so I understand that. Yeah, Gukesh made it. He was slightly worse. He was slightly worse. And then Sipenko just blundered a bishop by a fork. And yeah, from equal to dead lost. Uh, to be honest, in my opinion, a great summary of tiebreakers uh, was one message I've seen on Liches, which I found very funny. Uh, so it was funny that like uh, the message w was like the chat I is like switching between two moods. First one. Is Magnus is the goat, he's the best, right, when he's winning. And then suddenly when he makes a blunder, Magnus should retire already. <laughs> because, like, yeah, it was funny to follow the chat. Magnus is winning, oh my goodness, he's the best, he can grind everything out. Magnus blunders, oh, okay, yeah, it's time for him to end the career. <laughs> yeah, Leon was winning, but in time trouble, he messed it up. Yeah, that was a nice puzzle. Yeah, it's time scrambled, yeah. Uh, wait, hang on. Let me know when you send the link to the game, okay? Uh, so I can analyze it. Yeah, it's funny to watch. Like, like half of one, one of my eye is looking at the board and what's going on there. And second eye is literally just looking at the chat. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny to watch the chat. I don't know. It's like, oh my goodness, Magnus is always can. Yeah, now you want your Magnus. Magnus is the best. Always grinds everything out when he makes a lander. Ah, okay, yeah. Who would have thought? <laughs> yeah. No, but to be honest. Of course, everybody is a human, and even Magnus, but I was quite surprised in the blunders from Magnus, right? Of course, it's super hard to calculate, because, like, he made blunders, one in the rook and game, it was, like, ridiculously hard to understand anything. Yeah, that is true. He's not in any good shape. Yeah, that's true also. But then this knight and bishop and game, it was still so difficult. Uh, but then, fortunately, he... No, no, no! Why here on my team on Liches or Chess Home? Not, 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 not here. Or on DMs on Twitch. Not here. Mopo doesn't like it. No, why are you on? Failed by the last game and didn't end up trading too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, why hang on? Please don't send it here, Moobot. Moobot is a, a cruel guy. <laughs> True. Do not cross Moobot. <laughs> yeah. Or you can send it in DMs on Twitch if it's easier for you, why hang on? That's also possible. Are you sure that's what you said, Joseph? Okay, but I'm not sure what is the solution. Okay, queen h1, king g3, I suppose rook h3, and then king f4, then check but king g5. <laughs> no, Lorgan, don't consider that. 
Where DM? Ah, uh, direct messages. Uh, you can click. Okay, let me let me write. Uh, hey, so then you can uh, click me. L uh, left mouse button, and then there should be somewhere follow message something. I'm not sure. Thank you for the follow. Ah, uh, yeah, Ko uh, Kodaro. Many thanks for the follow and happy weekend. Yeah, Queen of Six. The only thing I'm not sure after Queen of Six is that I think he simply takes and then King of Four. I think he escapes, no? Hey, Aaron, happy weekend. Hi, hi, how are you doing? What's up? Um, but okay, I feel like this should be correct. But Joseph, if you want, you can also send a game and analyze it for 10k. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. True, yeah, Alan, true. Front 7k. So maybe if you save up a little more, you can also request a game analysis. Uh, about the move yeah thanks to Aaron thank you should we request 71 game analysis now or save for the million of course save for the million karma save for the million as oh, this puzzle is challenging I also have a great day Okay. All right, why hang on there? Got it. All right, guys, let's. Whoa, against an NM. Great job, why hang on? Okay, let's analyze it. Um. Okay, I need game review. Uh, let me wait. Let me quickly try to finish this puzzle and analyze it. Three years. <laughs> yeah. I lost, but still, I'm sure. Eighty to three accuracy. You played very well. Mm. Okay, let me analyze the game. Um, so you played e4, c5, knight f3, uh, knight c6, Sicilian, which should be five. I like zero Solimo. It is. I like it more than the open Sicilian with all this d4 stuff. To be honest. Uh. So bishop b5, e6, bishop c6, everything is book castles. Yeah, you play opening is very well played from your y high on. Queen c7, Stokri says it's an inaccuracy from your opponent. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure how it is an inaccuracy. When Lucia says it's the best, uh, and then you says it's second best line. So we don't talk about that. Okay, queen c7, rook e1. E e5 yeah you open it of course once you prevent e5 because that is your idea okay yeah we'll see why here let's check it e5 c3 d6 i mean so far you play perfectly and you haven't even thought a second off your clock so far perfect play d4 cd is an inaccuracy i'm not a professional but okay stop in the rosalim of stuff but uh stop says he had your opening had to go for 97 and get this position, by my opinion, it is more comfortable as white to play it because he has weak, weak pawns. So, yeah, I definitely prefer that as white. So, d4, he took, you took. So far, everything is great. You even got a slight advantage. Knight f6, knight c3. Good move. Queen c2 was the best. Mm, let me see. What if he goes bishop e7 against d5? Oh no. Ah! Okay, Joseph, that's a nice idea. Look at this. So you play here uh, after you play knight of six, right? You play queen c2. And the idea is if you make this move, a uh, logical move, bishop e7, you take, take, and then you are able to take e5. 
and then you win a pawn and after he castles you just come back and you win a pawn so uh you play knight c3 but queen c2 was a little bit better keeping more edge if you'd go rook b8 for example now you can play knight c3 because you somewhat make him make a worthless move because i don't think rook b8 is really good for him right so yeah, that's why after knight of six, queen c2 would, would be slightly, slightly better. But knight c3 is not a bad move anyways. This bishop d5, nice development. Yeah, rook vulnerable to fork, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bishop g5, castle, rook c1. I mean, so far you play perfectly, and you still haven't saw the second of your clock. Doing great so far, oopsie. Uh, so yeah, he has a weak pawn, you have a rook iron at that point, it's good. No, no, no worries, no need to be sorry, of course, no, 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 that's, that's what the analysis is for, no need to be sorry. Okay, queen b8, okay, that's a good, fair, fair point from computer, uh, queen c2 is a good move, but again, I, you should have taken, computer says, and then play like h3, the idea is he cannot take v2 because you get knight e5, right, and then c6 things, and you are slightly, you are actually pretty much better now, and if you go h6, you just go here, queen c2, with the idea of bishop g3 or like b3 and then the idea is even though he has two bishops pair right uh you are gonna attack a weakness on e5 and maybe at some point a weakness on c6 so that is why it's maybe sometimes good in these positions to simply take and then regroup your pieces into an attack but okay queen b8 queen c2 great human move I, I, it's, it's not a bad move still. Bishop g4 and knight d2. Right, a mistake. Yeah, you blundered a pawn. Of course, I really understand your thought process. Uh, because, say, if you play something like even h3, then he simply takes and then takes and he ends up being a pawn up. And also, he ruined your pawn structure. Uh, swapping a pawn to give open and two weak pawns. Yeah, yeah, indeed, exactly. So you swap pawns to create more weaknesses. Yeah, that was a mistake. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Um, so that the idea, yeah. I understand your thought process very well. Uh, that you were scared of this. But you have a nice intermediate, well, not, but in-betweener move, as I like to call it. D takes C. And the idea is if he simply takes bishop fc, you take. And now this bishop hangs for him, and this bishop hangs for him. And the idea is if he takes, you get bishop h6. And then still his bishop hangs and his rook hangs, and you win an exchange and you're better, right? So after d takes him, he would have to take d takes him. But then you simply can move your knight, h6, then play knight f5. The idea is if he takes, you take here, you take there, you're a pawn up. He has an ugly pawn structure. And if after this he takes bishop f5, you get bishop f6, another nice in-betweener. And then you take, you get your knight on e4, he has two weak pawns, and you're better. So, but yeah, I understand knight d2, I understand knight d2 as a move. Another nice move, if you wouldn't want to trade, is or knight d2 or bishop e3, this or that. The idea is you let him take, uh, but then... Say he defends the pawn, you swap, yeah, you exchange the pawns, and he still has these two weaknesses, and then you can simply go like bishop h4, bishop g3, king g2, and your weakness won't be a weakness, and you're doing very well. Then he made c5 an inaccuracy. It's not really an inaccuracy, to be honest, okay, it's not a human move, queen b5, in my opinion. Okay, knight d4, best move, great idea with the idea of taking the knight d5, knight c4. Thanks, Joseph. This takes, takes knight d5 this aha uh -huh. f3 was another mistake uh because right you're a pawn down but uh, the, the pawns are doubled right the both pawns are doubled and this one is also somewhat weak right here on c5 so these three pawns are relatively weak right uh so after bishop g5 uh, your idea after knight d5 was to play knight c4 and completely block them and it won't even feel uh, that your opponent even has some sort of an advantage, I would say, to be honest. Uh, because here's an extra pawn, but the pawns are quite weak. You have great, great knights and you would be fine. After bishop d5, it was a good move from him. As the idea was to take one of your knights and then maybe at some point take second knight 
and now when you cannot block these three pawns they are actually quite strong because they he can push them at some point so f3 was a mistake you should have went for f4 because after f3 you've allowed him to take and now he got bishop e6 and now already you played b3 and after he took all your good things in the position are gone and you played queen b7 and then you also lost the second pawn and you were yeah that is true yourself <laughs> and then you lost the second pawn and then and then yeah you went on to lose uh, but now let's focus on these mistakes after bishop d5 instead of f3 you should have played f4 the idea is you prevent bishop d2 so he has to move his bishop easy to h4 to d8 say d8 Mm, then you can play knight c4, and then this queen d3, and now he has his three strong pawns. <laughs> yeah, and then he has his three strong pawns, but you at the same time blocks these three strong pawns, and they are not really strong. So he takes tit, for example, you get b3, you are not worse. Maybe you are slightly worse because, yeah, he's a pawn down, but it's not worse. So f4, bishop d8, and you can even play f5 just to cut this bishop off. Uh, queen b7 get f6 and then spicing that but yeah i think i would prefer this human approach knight c4 queen d3 and then great great thing yeah all things fell apart yeah that's understandable and then bc was another mistake you had to remove your knight um and the idea is if he takes you get b4 it's a discovered attack and you also attack this pawn so if he moves the bishop you take you're a pawn down, but then you get 95, you get good compensation. Because after b3, you blind another pawn and you want to lose. But aside from that, yeah, that is true, Andy, yeah, yeah. But aside from that, that was a very good game. Just some, just some small mistakes which led into a big one, too, let's be honest. But aside from that, I'm really happy with how you played with Y Hayon. Uh, you should be proud of that game, even though you lost. Yeah, you're welcome. Good job. Nice game. Uh, now back to this suffering in this puzzle. Or maybe it's not suffering. Don't they just have rook to a8? Was I blind? That blind the entire time? <laughs> what? Gosh, I'm really not sure about this puzzle. No, Joseph. It is not the words. No, he played extremely well. But yeah, for he why I only rated seventeen hundred. For his level, he played extremely well. The opening. Uh yeah, Queen G one, Biagio. Why he only played the opening extremely well. Uh no jokes at all. Yeah, King F three. Uh, ah, rook h3, oh goodness, I'm sad blind? Why did I miss the queen g4? Okay, thank you, Biagio. Yeah, we have a nice, 1700 is pretty good. Slowly, slowly improving. Thanks, Biagio. Yeah. Hi, hi. I forgot to say happy weekend to Andy and to you, Biagio. Sorry. Happy weekend, everybody. What is up? And now let's play house also. Happy weekend. And more for happy weekend. <laughs> forgot to say to the man himself, Mubot. But now I did. So now my job is done here, guys. Can officially quit streaming. I just hate it, of course. I love streaming. I have one free week from work, then we work till Christmas. Aye! Whee! Ah! Guys, wow, two quite not nice news in a row. From Biagio that he'll work f till Christmas. Without any breaks, then Andy will have a storm. Ay ay ay. Okay, I think I should take. Yes, now we need to think. Stay strong, guys. We believe in you. 
Baru, Baru 16, thank you so much for the fall and GC and a fun happy weekend. Also, good RCR, happy weekend. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I forgot to tell you that. So to hear that we are your but I believe in you. We all believe in you. We can do it. Text capture thread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, Queen H7, I'm calculating this, but like Queen G6, it feels like King D7. So I didn't get Queen G7, but then I get Queen E6. That's what I'm struggling with. Maybe I'm winning actually there. Queen G6, this, 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 Queen E7, King E8, Queen G6. Which I also took. Yeah, of course, yeah. Ugh, I'm imagine so much. I'm going to have Queen E7, though I'm not so sure. Nope, not watching Netflix. Never watch Netflix. So, can't recommend anything. Okay, Queen H7 here. Hey, Darko, happy weekend. What is up? The the problem is, is that if I play Bishop C5, he gets Queen C2, Queen A2, right? Yeah, of course, yeah, Bishop C5 is a very good idea. I liked it. But he gets mate. Is it Kramnik? Josef or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congrats, Darko. Great job. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> I know everything. Ah, Queen 5, King 7 Ah, okay. Oh, that can be. That can be. No, I'm not watching movies at all, to be honest. Uh, rook g7, king d8. Uh, so queen f5, yeah, that's, it can be interesting. It can be very interesting. No, you're not trash. I'm following the whole coffee, yeah, Gucci Pigeon, happy weekend, how are you doing? You're not trash, 70 is also great. <laughs> No, I don't stop improving, guys. So always, always improve. Always improve, no matter what. Like literally, that's the best rule. Always, always improve. Like step by step, but always improve. Your yeah, woke up is crazy. I had like ten mini heart attacks while watching Magnus Kaima today. When Chimer from zero goes to minus four, then Magnus from plus four to zero. Then to uh, from zero to minus seven, or yeah, and then Magnus goes to zero. Then Chimer from zero to minus fifty-five, and then Magnus from fifty-five to zero. That was crazy today. Uh, lots of fun. Ooh, I'm really not sure what is correct. I would play queen h7. Ah! This puzzle is 3900. It's not two of them. Uh, is it? Uh? What is it? Hmm? What? What is rook c1? Hello? We didn't solve these puzzles. Puzzle. How is this 53 percent pass rate? How did more than half of the people solve this? This is such a weird puzzle. Hmm. Yeah, Karma. No, but what was his puzzle? <laughs> 
How did how were the people more than how many people saw that? Wow. No, I haven't seen it all, no. No, this I, I, this puzzle was shown to people like seven thousand times. That's why I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah, probably be a gym. No, but this puzzle is completely, completely crazy one. Takes, eh? Or ten times from memory? Yeah, solving puzzles from memory is like the best feeling you can get while solving puzzles. When you don't think, you just know it. Yeah, that is true, Ismail. Happy weekend, what is up, Ismail? How are you doing? 96? No, 96, bing, bang, bang, bong, eh, maybe it's... I think it's Queenie 5, and I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, so far it was very straightforward. Now it's not so straightforward. That is very true. Yeah, Gucci. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the best feeling in the world. Well, I have many, many feelings are good, but while solving puzzles, it's very good. Ah, help! Uh, okay, I'm not sure. I'm a knight up. He's literally about to mate me in two moves. Uh, so knight f5 feels like it has on on g6. I mean, knight g6 feels like it has to be played. But I'm not sure if it actually has to be played. Uh, I don't see what else can be played. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm also not sure. Knight g6, rook f1, king h2, queen f5, f4. Queen f4, but the knight f4, and then d1. Is this a clutch even there? Oh, nah. Ah, but rook c3. Oh, but rook h1, but king g No, it doesn't work. Now, I, I don't know, it feels like it's this. Yeah, okay, king h2. It's not king h1 because this and this, so king g3. Uh, uh, I think. I don't know. I just simply think. How does this puzzle have 10% pass rate and previous puzzle has 53% pass rate? How? How does... Uh, this was like so easy. Rook c7, queen g6, it was all forced. How? How does this only have even less than 10% and the other one at 53%? What? How? Oh, this is crazy. Why do you play for so game in a row? That's not random. Color chess com. Pair matchmaking is rigged. I suppose. But okay, a draw is like is nice. Thank you so so much for the follow and you see in a fun pawn storm IQ. How are you doing? Happy weekend. Hi Oracle with happy weekend as well. What's up everybody? How are you? Ay, 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 why? Mm. Draw? <laughs> Doesn't want to draw, as it seems. Ah, he said he's bishop of six. Then I'd be ninety five. Happy weekend, yeah, happy weekend, everybody. What's up? Let's go e6. I think I know how. It is uh, not rigged, but it is. Should be four? Are you okay to make that move? What is Bishop A4? Why is there so many weird things today happening, huh? Bishop A4. <laughs> that is true.
true. Yeah, that 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 can be a possibility, Piaggio. Very very good very good uh, conspiracy theory. Very good theory. <laughs> But then, like, doesn't... Am I stupid or no? When the puzzle gets solved a lot, shouldn't the puzzle rating go down or no? I thought when you solve a puzzle, its rating goes down, no? Or, because this puzzle rating system is confusing me always. It's not like that. A uh, Quincy 7, I get this, but then this. And repeat. Did I just win a piece? Ooh. Everybody, poggers. Let's go! I'll go e7, so then I castle, I get queen of six. Okay, but still, 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 still. Let's win and then celebrate. Let's trade the rooks off. Yeah, that's what I don't like. Like, why does he have to try? That's the question. Mm. I like when he would just resign. <laughs> but this guy wants to try. Is he trying? <laughs> that's the question. <laughs> Wait, but takes, takes queen before. Queen before? And Logan, also happy weekend. I'm not sure if I told you, but happy weekend. Sorry if I forgot. <laughs> what is this? Why are you trying, sir? You're a knight down, you should resign. That's the law of online chess or chess in general. No, just kidding, of course. Uh, H6, I suppose, is okay. Do -do 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 but thank you, but yeah. It, it, when it will be tomorrow, then happy weekend, if it will be tomorrow. But yeah, when, when it will be weekend, happy weekend. Yes, it's, it's the time zones are are different, so... Yeah. I feel like h6 is a good move. I don't know why. Yeah, I was calculating this line. This is queen b6. And the idea is if b8, I get queen b8, I'm winning. And if after king h1 he takes f6, I just get queen v1 mate. I think. Works like that. Check, queen b6. Da -da -da. Ah, he blocks with the rook. But queen b6, like, huh? No, but anything wins here, literally, I think. Well, not literally, but mostly anything wins. Everything. Ugh. Very bad at English. Uh, but okay, wait, queen b6, if queen b3 is simply take, how does he protect this? My threat is 94 as well. Queen of 3 go rook b8. This should be good, no? We'll see. And b8, I get this, and he doesn't get rook of 6. Yeah, but this, I get this. Da! Let's go! I won against Komodo! Da -da 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 -da. Don't fool him. <laughs> I'll try, I'll try. <laughs> okay, I need to think actually. <laughs> I didn't really want to pull a Magnus. I want to break the handshake agreement with this guy because we think it's uh <laughs> no we're like yeah he kind of messed up prep he kind of literally just messed up prep if he would have gone for d4 he would have been fine 
But he played Adrian and he was dead lost already. So you guys, tomorrow is gonna be, I'm planning to record an interesting video. So uh, stay tuned for that. Don't forget to join the Discord so you won't miss it out if it, there will be a video. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, he kind of lost 2 0. First game, he just blundered a piece and lost in like 25 moves. Second game, he made some stupid moves trying to avoid exchanges. Like, I'm really not sure. He like was trying to avoid exchanges, but like he didn't really avoid them. Oh, I saw Kitty two H when he says tell me. I don't know what noise I just made. Uh but I thought I threw it. Yeah, but like I'm not sure like it's just game reviews. Is like editing really needed? Because I'm not sure what I can really like edit even in game reviews. Because like if it's just game reviews, I don't know like what to even edit. Yeah, of course. Yeah, all videos we said it in a better. But I'm not sure what to edit. And then better than it. Uh yeah, but I don't know, this felt like he played terribly. Thank you so much, and you have to forgive me, and tier 1 sub to Biagio or Biagin. Thank you, thank you. I played 92.9, he played 88.8. It's zero brilliance, it's for each of us zero. Great for him, one for me, 37 for best for him, 44 for me, 25 excellent for him, 23 for me, 7 good book for him, 4 for me, 5 book moves for him, 4 for, two, uh, four for me, 1 X for him, 2 for me, 26 for him, 0 for me, 0 for me, 0 for each of us, and 0 for each of us. My feed rating is 22.78. Happy we can this a trap. I had 2331, but then I played terrible Tony. But yeah. Yeah, and then he just blundered the night. And then he blundered the pawn. And he blundered the pawn again. Yeah, that is true. That is true, Joseph. But I'm not really sure like what to fit in editing, like because yeah, grammatical mode blundered. Yeah, it pulled the magnet. <coughs> okay, yeah, sorry, that wasn't funny. Um, in the games, Kevin McAllister, my life open, and it was two nil from me and one one three from him. So, but I played well. Then again, I, I I I don't know. He wasted the tempo bishop be seven bishop before. I'm not really sure. I don't know. Because your opponent can always blunder. Then I decided to get creative and I played like g4. The idea was if he goes here, I simply take and get bishop h7, this and g3 game over. Uh, but bishop g6 takes, takes. Bishop b5 was an axi. Yeah, c5. And bishop c5, uh, bishop b5 was an axi to go for bishop c5. Oh, and 96. Oh! Right. True. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure, but like in game reviews, it doesn't really feel like you can add something like more, more like exciting. I don't know. Yes, yeah, so after he had bishop c5, I saw 97, but he just simply has queen d7. He wins a piece. Uh, and if 96, he has queen b6 and bishop f2. So yeah, bishop b5 was a mistake. Hey Thomas, how you doing? Happy weekend. What's up? And then rook c1 was saying next, he'd go for queen d2. I simply blundered a pawn. But then fortunately he made a blunder back quite soon because yeah he had to play queen b5 this knight f4 and he would it would be equal this i'd go for g5 fix the pawn structure he'd go for rook b8 rook e1 knight c7 he would be quite okay and then play g5 himself it would be quite fine and rook c was a blunder he'd go for g5 and then found a nice mate in it rook b8 g5 and then rook e4 and then i took and then king h2 
and rookie just couldn't escape. I'm, I really love this mating net. Rook b, g5, rook e4. If this is simply go h2 or g2, you cannot stop mate. e5 is just this, this. And if you go knight h5, we'll just take b6. Or even rook a4, rook, rook a4 here, that would be mate as well. And then I'm wondering, Kevin McAllister. Here. 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 Okay. What books? Ooh, that's difficult. That's difficult. Let me think. 2000 OTB or or uh, online? Because I repeat that many, many times. I'm I don't read too many books, so. Hey, Night King, too happy weekend. I'm doing great. What about you? Just just crushed our handshake agreement with Komodo. Just crushed him. Who's your favorite? Uh, Fide. Ooh, then it is difficult, Thomas. I'm gonna think. Uh, okay, from now Magnus, from then Alehain. My life would just. <laughs> oh, Thomas, I'm really not sure. I'm gonna think a bit. Yeah, that is true, that is true, that is true. That is true. Uh, yeah, so opening wise, G4. G4 was actually the best by Stockfish. That's why they call me Stockfish Son. C5 was first slight inaccuracy. He had to go for 97, right? And then this, this, yeah, and then it would be somewhat equal. Queen of three, this, this, he maybe would be slightly better because of my weak pawns. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it is, it was a crazy, it was a crazy match though. Like, first he got the lead, right? And then Magnus yesterday just, yeah, and then he came out just in C94. Then, yeah, okay, you had to go for bishop c5, the idea is if knight g6 is a mistake because you get queen b6, knight of 8, bishop f2, then bishop e one and these things, and then he is better, and if knight d7, which I thought was good, but that's a blunder because queen e7, that's just game over, so the bishop f5, I would go for queen f3, or something like that, knight d7, rook d1, knight d5, bishop e5, this equality. Uh, then bishop e5, this is this, this was all forced, rook c1 was a mistake back from me, just blunder the pawn completely, I had to go for like queen b3, and queen e6, rook e c1, and it would be better, but still quite a long game ahead. Yeah, came okay, ahead a good run. Yeah, that is very true, Joseph. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that is unfortunate that Vincent just missed the 94, right? Um, otherwise, otherwise, if Magnus would get a draw there, he would be lucky, in my opinion. Rook e3, yes, queen b6 was a mistake. He had to go for queen b5. And then after this, play a really nice move as well, g5. Then get like knight f4 uh, to attack this weak pawn. And then get like rook c8. And then he would be, it would be equal. I have an exchange, but I didn't get anything. This, 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 that was a big mistake from my opponent. Uh, here to go for rook b8. With the idea is if this, this, rook uh, c1 here, here, b5. Rook a7 here, 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 yeah, then he gets like rook c8, then like rook c1 this, and it's like, I think he has a decent compensation. Rook b7 was a mistake for me, I had a nice move rook, e, rook a1 with the idea of to play rook 8 and force a rook trade, then he goes here, then I simply take. This rook a7, this h4, and I'm just completely winning. And after king h7, if he goes rook c2, for example, then I get this nice mating at this, then like rook here, and then rook a8, rook h8. He cannot prevent it, like in the game. Okay, rook b7, rook c2 was a mistake back in the game. Uh, actually, I would say that a blunder here, go for g5. Rook a1, g6, rook a7, yeah, he had to be super passive, but still he would have some compensation, it would be quite unclear to play, because then I found nice rook beat, and g5, rook e4, and then I made the net, and then here he just resigned with him, Kevin McAllister, he had no, no more checks, and I was just completely winning. I drink a car, nice Joseph.
That is a good job. Yeah, Ivanchuk, yeah, Ivanchuk won. Ivanchuk made it through. So it'll be Magnus, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be exciting. It's in 20, right? Yep. Not for much details, but because he only got two pieces and a bishop, and I in the night I drew him by stalemate. Okay, no worries, no worries, no worries. Stalemates happen, they're quite cruel to everybody, guys. By the way, I have an, an interesting, a very, very crazy cool examples. Let me think which one I think I'll show you this one. Um, it's, it's not gonna be like we will progress through it. A step by step it's not gonna be a like you have to say the solution at once we will go together through it like we think the majority thinks it's the best move we go on okay so back to move guys what do you think is the best move take care Biagio. have a nice li nice life thank you have a great weekend hopefully to see you tomorrow take care and yeah good luck this is legend yeah Wait, let me just recheck. Let me just recheck. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I maybe misplayed it. Ah, 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 ah. Wait, 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 yeah. False, 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 false. Now, now, no, 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 no. Okay, black to move, guys. I think. Let me just make sure. Let me just make sure. You, you can start thinking. If something, I'll change. B3, C4, A4, F6, G2, H2. You can shake when you say 3, B2, Yeah. Okay, black to move. Uh, what what do you all think is the best move for black right here? I take the free pawn on c string, get mated. It is uh, b three, right? Yeah, but then rook h four. So you really have to watch out for rook h four. Okay, 24 is an actually stupid move, Gucci. It loses, but it's not so clear. The idea is after queen e4, I'm just gonna tell you, it's not, it, it doesn't work, guys. Queen e4 white simply takes, and then they get f7. And then the, the mate threat is queen g8, right? If bishop e7, he mates us from h6. And if you go bishop g7, he gets queen h5, and then he takes h6, and that's mate as well. So queen e4 is a bad move, but then unfortunately he gets f7. Um, what else do we have in mind, guys? Queen e4 was second best move, I think. No, was it is second best move, I think. I can't, I'm doing great as well, happy weekend. There is only, there is two, yeah, there is only one. Yeah, 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 good, good point. Rook g2, interesting. Okay, Karmar's idea, rook b3 just gets mated in one. Rook g2, but what are you gonna do after king g2? How are you gonna stop rook h4? I don't think there is a way, because if you take him in, he again just mates you after f7. So, it is creative, but not, uh, yeah, but queen g8 is still rook h4. It's a nice point, but rook h4, unfortunately. Bishop h6, and then he simply just takes rook h6. Uh, if bishop h6 in the starting position, he takes, and then queen g7, and that's mate. So, it's not of these guys. Was that really my idea? Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, karma, sorry, misunderstanding. <laughs> no worries. Okay, guys, what do you think? What are the ideas? What is a forcing move? Rook g2, queen e4. No, but rook g2? King g2, queen e4? You literally get the same position as in the game after queen e4. Uh, not in the game. But it's in the starting position after queen e4, only you're even down a rook. 
Queen of six, just queen of six, queen b2, we are losing. Nah, it doesn't work. Queen of six doesn't work as well. A forcing move, guys. Very forcing move. Look all around the board. When when can he not play rook h4? When he cannot like play like any move pretty much. Do 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 Ruby one is forcing. Yeah, Ruby one is actually the correct move. I mean okay, our goal he's literally switching mate one, right? So we have fine with a draw. So we play rook b1. Okay, rook f1, eh, I mean we just simply take and then I don't know. Make a move like queen g8, we simply win. So yes, rook b1 is correct, karma, good job. King of two, what next do we play? Yeah, just a simple move, yeah, yeah. It's a tricky puzzle. It's not a, something crazy in the first move, but then it's something very brilliant later. Okay, what now? The same threat, uh, the same idea from him. What do we do now? Bishop six. Bishop six gets mated into after queen six and queen g seven. So, okay, queen e4, I think, doesn't work, I'm pretty sure, because he simply just takes an f7. What is another forcing move? Yeah, another check, good job, Karmar. Okay, go skinny one. What now? Why do you always get mated, right? Now you're checking him, you can't get mated while you're open and you in, in check. Why can he go back? But if he goes back, it's a draw. I mean, from getting lost to a draw, I think it's a good result, right? So he has to go here if he's trying to win. No, but here it's fine. We need to understand that when your opening is one move away from checkmating us, we are the one who is playing for a draw. So rook b2, king e1, what now? It's queen e4. I think queen e4 shouldn't work because again, takes, takes, even though it's with check, f7. And then we cannot stop. Because if this, he simply goes here, and then, yeah, we just lose. So, yeah, check again. Good job, Manus. First we check, he goes king d2. What now? All right, Zixify, send me the link in the direct messages on Twitch. I'm going to analyze the game. Happy weekend, what's up? Send me the game, I'm going to analyze it after this is a puzzle. So after King 2 Rook B2. Uh, yep, okay, King C1, what now? What now, guys? Small hint, nothing spectacular as well. I mean, it somewhat is quite nice, but mm, don't... Okay, just just think, guys. Again, rookish voice is right. PGN. Okay, hold on. I uh, fan. I mean, not PGN. Sorry, my bad. I was right. Okay, sixty-five. Okay. One sec. Let me let me put that here, 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 here. If somebody wants to join the team. Welcome to the team. Only for classic. Welcome. And just stay here. Queen C four. No, you don't resign. Never resign, guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll 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 check it out. Sixty-five. If you want to know, you can join in analyzing uh, a crazy puzzle I've seen today. It is a queen c four ruby one. Yeah, queen c four doesn't work. The fun thing is that after this, he simply returns. We continue checking him. And then if we check with this rook, he hides on g1 and then he plays rook f1. And if we check with this rook, he goes king g3 and he hides on, he hides on g3. So it doesn't work. So it's not queen c4. It is, as uh, Ken said, it is rook b1. King b1, what now? Okay, the idea is if king c2... Uh, if king c2... 
if king c2, it is still fine for him, but king b1 is a losing blunder. The idea after king c2, we still check him, and okay, if he goes somewhere, we continue checking. If he goes here, that's mate. And if king b2, we get queen e5, and queen f4, and I think we are winning here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we win a rook, we are winning. So after rook b1, king c2, this, this, it's a draw, but he went too far, and he goes king b1. What do we do now? Rook b3, good job. King a2. And now the most craziest move. Why king a2, you may ask? King a1 doesn't work because queen e5 and queen b2 mate. King c1 or king c2 doesn't work because we get on both, we get queen c4 and we simply mate him. So what do we play now after king a2? It's a brilliant move to be honest. Now you can look for some crazy sacrifices. I love this move. Exactly, Gucci Pigeon. Guys, now we sacrifice the rook once again. The idea is we'll stop mate. And our idea is queen c4, right? No, rook b2 here. It may work, but I think it's a draw, no? Yeah, it's a draw. This, and then you get this desperado rook, and then it's a draw. So, you get a draw after rook b2. But Gucci found a brilliant rook h3. Though the thing is, is after g takes h, right? Yeah, rook h3, good job, guys. Now we play queen c4, king b2, queen e2 check. If he goes to the third rank, we get queen e3, we win the rook. And if he goes king b1, okay, if king c1, we get queen e3 as well. If he goes king b1 or king a1, right? We get queen b d1 check, king b2, queen d2. Whenever he moves the queen, we get queen f4. And after queen h5, queen h6, we're actually winning. And then we don't get a perpetual, we actually win the game. We are forcing, we are winning a rook, and then we block, and then we win. I, I don't know, it felt such a brilliant puzzle. So you just, you're fine with a joint, if it goes too far, you, you, you punish him with brilliant rook h3. And this, and then queen h6, you win. Uh, probably it was a little bit too difficult, but... I think it was it was a nice nice puzzle. Great job everybody for finding the moves. Now so let's exify a chess game. So d4 he's playing with white, c4 d5, knight of c, knight of six. Great opening choice. Uh that's my first moment, I have no joke. Nice, 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 yeah. That was a brilliant move though. Six card right, so c6, e3. Oh, loves the opening choice, Gucci, uh, not Gucci, sorry, Zixif, I love the opening choice, castle, castle, knight d7. I usually play e4 here, but v3 is a great move no, no, nonetheless. It's a very nice move, e5, you take, yeah, and then you play knight b5. I think I actually had an OTB game, hold on, let me check that real quick. I think I had an OTB game somewhere that was in 2019. Eh... Uh, it was earlier here. What's 2020? What's wrong with me? So 2020. This one. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, I had something similar. I said similar, but okay, all other related points are similar. But yeah, Knight B5, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's still all theory, right? Yeah, it's still certain games has been played. Knight D5, and then you got Bishop B2. Yeah, nice. Okay, computer suggests Knight BD4. Uh, to sacrifice the bishop and then get this control with two knights, get like bishop b2, it's fine, but bishop b2 is a great move as well. Uh, bishop b2, knight e4, now bishop b2, so far doing perfectly, takes, takes, bishop e6, queen d4, love the move, threatening mate. Probably if I'd be your opponent instead of bishop e6, I'd play a6 to like move your knight, right, and then get bishop e5 and then bishop e6 or something like that. If you want to see a real crazy game, wait until... Okay, 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 yeah, Josef. All right. Yeah, so I play a6, but yeah, it wouldn't change. It would be slightly better nonetheless. Because if he's threatening something like mate, right, you simply go g3, and he has nothing. Wow. Zixi5, look, and everybody, look at this chat. Brilliant idea. After a6, we return knight c3, queen c7. He's threatening mate, and also our knight. And then we play g3. And after knight c3, we lose our knight, but then we get queen d4. And a lot of a sudden, if he moves his knight, we get queen g7, mate. 
And as always, we get the knight back and we are better because of an isolated pawn. That is quite nice. But okay, back to the game. Bishop b6, queen d4, nice move straight in and mate. Is, you, uh, your opponent played knight of 6 rook fd1, this knight c3. I mean, so far you're playing absolutely perfectly as c5, because d5 is a big weakness for him. You have 1, 2, 3, and 4 attackers, and he has 1, 2, 3 defenders. So, so far you're 1 up. Yeah, that is chess base. Yeah, yeah, Kent, it is. Nice. Yeah, that's a nice, very nice spot that if you saw that. You're much better. Queen c7. Okay, Stockfish says g3 is an inaccuracy. You had to go for queen h4. You know what the idea is? Is that after g3, it suggests bishop a4, and then something like bishop c5 to hunt your queen, and then regroup its bishop. Because right now, right, if you play queen h4 and queen e7, or like rook d8 or whatever, right, you still have 3. And he has two because he moved his queen. And if he tries to defend it, you get knight a4. And the bishop is terrible here. But after g3, you give him this possibility to play like something like queen e5. And then maybe somewhere d4. That's why g3 was a slight inaccuracy. But he didn't see that he played rook d8. Knight e2. Nice idea. Though again, it says queen h4 was slightly, slightly better to not give him bishop a7 with tempo. Because now it's an odd move, right? No tempo or something. Um, but yeah, 92 is a great move as well. Bishop e7 now was an inaccuracy. You go for queen e7. And queen h4, bishop d6, just be super safe. Why bishop e7 now was an inaccuracy? Because queen h4 you got. And the idea is now after queen h4, this knight, oopsie daisy, I missed. Yeah, no, no, no. Now the knight hangs, right? Because you got two defenders, you removed your knight, and now the bishop is attacking. So, so far you're much, much better. He played knight e8. And then, and then UE Stockfish says that you already plus 5, rook ac1, this. Okay, it says a3 is a mistake, you had to go for knight f4. Uh, let's see, the idea is you sack this pawn. Oh, okay, you sacrifice this pawn, but then you get bishop e5. And then he has a zillion weaknesses. Let's say he goes, I don't know, let's say he goes h6, right? Or queen e5. Then you get queen g4. And then after queen b6, you get a brilliant rook, b, rook c7. Threatening mate. So he's forced to take, and you're much, much better. That's why knight f4 was better. So the pawn is poisonous after takes, takes, bishop e5. It's completely winning. So computer suggests queen b4. But then you remove the queen, you win the pawn, and that's game over. But of course, OTB, it's hard to see the difference. Of course, still, you keep the advantage. Rook a8 was a mistake from your opponent. Okay, computer suggests to play rook d6 with the idea of like queen d8 to get more defenders on the d5 pawn. Okay, play rook a8, b4, great move, this. Uh, knight d4 was a blunder, you had to go for knight f4. You know why? Because after knight f4, both the bishop can hang in the air, and you also put a third attacker, and now the pawn hangs. And the idea is also that takes takes his rook hangs, Queen is perfectly placed here. So after queen d7, you just take and then bishop d4. And the pawn hangs everything hangs for him, it's just game over, you know? Too many weaknesses. And queen h3, and then this hangs, and if you go skin f7, you take this, game over pretty much. So knight d4 is not a bad move, don't get me wrong. Uh, even though computer says it's not a blunder, I think it's a mistake because, like, you didn't blunder anything. It's a mistake just uh, getting a slow advantage. Knight d6 was a blunder from your opponent. He had to go for knight d4, uh, bishop d4. And then take, take, and then get like uh, queen d7 and knight f6. Yeah, you would be much better, two bishops, all that stuff, and a weakness for him, but it would be quite hard to break through. You know, he has knight f6, he should have been more or less holdable for at least some time. But he played knight d6, which was a blunder. Oh! You got knight e6, fe, rook e8, this queen e7. That's a brilliant tactic. Yeah, that's a nice, that's a blunder from your opponent because he blundered a forced material loss. He's forced to take with the rook, and then you got queen e7 threatening mate and the knight. And after knight f7, you just take the pawn and the bishop and the rook king. And then you played rook f8, you won. This, this, and after queen d4, mate is unstoppable. That's a brilliant game, Zixi Fight Chess. Really, you should be proud of that game. That's a very, very nice one. Guess your rating. I would, I would sing for a second.
Hmm. Let me show that. It's true. Okay, opening was perfect. The night of four mistake. 1920. Let's say 1920. Am I far off? Yes, I mean, and then this 96 spot was also very nice. No, it's fine, it's fine, I like it. I like analyzing people's games. 50k is too overpriced. In my opinion, it's well, well priced, because for that, for that, you can either, either you can get a game against me, which I will briefly analyze, right? Or for that, you can get a deep analysis of any game you want. That's for 2000, nice, nice. I actually wanted to say 2000, but then I was like, ah, let's go a little bit lower. So, so yeah, but, yeah. Because a little bit this positional stuff with Queen H4, not giving him tempos, but still great, great, great game. N uh, nonetheless, some positional things, yeah. Just don't, sometimes just don't care about the pawn, just go for it. Um, and then knight f4. Yeah, but uh, great game. Nice, nice tactic spot at the end. This 96 FE looks hit. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to say that was a great, great game. Uh, a great, great game. 65, also great, great stream. And like Why Hyun's game and 65 chess game. Then played a great game in Slife Open. Finally, crushed Komodo and great puzzle solving. Nearing my peak, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, my peak was 38.72, 16 points away from peak. Quite nice. Yeah, so it's a great stream. Guys, don't forget to join the Discord because tomorrow I'm planning to make a video. She, I think it's going to be quite fun. So I'm going to announce when I post that. So don't forget to join the Discord to announce when I post that. And everybody, I'm going to end the stream. Happy weekend to everybody. I'm sorry if I forgot somebody. Thank you so much. My name is Gifted for Gifted and tier ones up to Biagio Biagin. Then also Seth Landin for Gifted a Patron win on Leeches. And everybody, thanks a lot everybody for watching. Thanks a lot for the follows. Take care, Karma, take care, Yhan, take care, Joseph, take care, Gucci Pigeon, take care, Zixify Chess, take care, Andy, take care, Ken, take care, Manuspers, take care, Pookie, take care. And also what's a nice puzzle, I think. This is Rook H3. Take care, take care, take care, Night King, take care, Biagio, take care, Lorgan, take care, Thomas, take care, Disatrep, take care, Andy, take care, Oracle Nivit, and everybody who was here. Take care to Blitzik as well, yeah. Have a great, great weekend, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, everybody, and bye-bye.